Hello oh guys, Reese Monkey 348 here. I'm bringing you a movie how to make your own homemade welder. So first off, you gotta get yourself a microwave or some type of directional device that's got a uh, transformer in it. Microwave is the best thing because it comes with the biggest transformer. I got this one out of the microwave. So I got a whole bunch more. So this is one of them before I take the wires off. This is a capacitor, so I gotta take that off and decharge it. It could recharge. So okay, got the wires off, capacitor off. The capacitor would charge, it had a couple hundred volts in it, so I took that out. And the these are the ends, I had it pulled off. It came off there and the two there. And these wires here are going to be uh, cut off. I'm going to take them out after. First, I get these out. So you probably going to need an 8 mil wrench because I found out all the, all capacitors come out of microwave ovens. The motor 8 inch, 8 mil. So, I'm going to get this thing apart and I'll be okay. back. I got those four bolts out. Not all microwaves come in bolts, but... This one did, so yeah. So I got the good old grinder out, my safety goggles and gloves, and I'm gonna cut this weld right here. The one on each each side, and I'm gonna cut it right off so the top can pop off. You wanna cut the weld on the very top first, and then the bottom. Next I got my chisel, and I put it right here, and I'll take the hammer and hit, hit it. Okay, I got the top off. Hammer and chisel work fine, and it, it came off perfect, so that's what we'll need later. So, we gotta take these out, and they're quite wedged in there, so I think they're glued. So I'm going to take the chisel and there are two, uh, if you can see in there, there are two little blocks so, and pound those out and they give me some space to move around. Be very careful when you take these out, don't damage them at all because you're going to be, you're going to be reusing this one. Okay, got it all cleaned up. Make sure you clean the sides a little bit. Rip all the stuff out. This is what we after, this coil. This is some heavy duty copper wire. This is the biggest copper wire you can mostly get for a transformer this size. So you're gonna keep that and this thing, you're gonna keep it for the wire inside, but you can see the wire inside and in between right there. Little small stuff inside like twenty thousand wraps on that. Something crazy like that, but yeah. We're gonna put this, put this back inside, facing downwards. So the D's not pointing up, and that should be good. And I'm gonna skip over to the welding. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna weld it back together. I like putting, I like welding it back together first before I put the the wire in because it's better. Let's see if we can do it, pack it in there. And then, uh, got some, got my welding gloves, welding helmet. 
This is a 240 arc welder, so but quite different welder and making a welder. So I'm gonna weld this top back on and that should be good. Let's start welding this one. Okay, go weld it. Had a nice weld. Coming into the deep, so yeah. Time to do this. Okay, go weld it. Nice weld. I got some, uh, I believe it 8 gauge. 300 volt. So I'm gonna take this, uh, black and white, so I'm gonna do two of these. Now it's time to wrap it around. I'm not gonna wrap it around and go in and out, in and out, in and out. Very simple, it works. Okay, I got both of them rounded. Black one and white one, they're both the same. There's no anything different about them. So. so now I'm gonna wire them, wire them together and Test it with the. Okay, I got both of them wired together to uh, figure out what wires will wear. That's the order you see. One goes to the other. And this one plugged into one, one breaker, and this one plugged into the other breaker. So it's 240 volt by two, two breakers. And they got tons of power. Got so much I can weld them together. Damn. Now I'm gonna hook some ends up and try welding with this thing. See if it works. Okay, I got it hooked up. Got it hooked up there. Got power ready to be plugged in. Got a piece of steel with the ground cramped onto it. And the positive, I got a small little weld rod. I put this end on it. It's a good end, so we're gonna do. We'll try to do some welding. Okay. Try this. Did a pretty good weld. I chipped off the swag, but it did a pretty good weld. I think these welding rods are not for this this type of welder. I need the small ones. Okay, I tested it, and that welder putting putting out 75 volts, and this one putting putting out 50. So a little bit under. What would you expect? A big welder, I said a whole mini welder, and it actually can weld this type of rods. 7014s. So I'm impressed. I'm gonna make longer wire. I'm gonna put the longer wires out. Make a little box for it to fit in, so you can carry it around and weld stuff. But I got a solo now problem about plugging in two plugs. But and nothing. In a couple days, I'm gonna make another video of it done. But for now, thanks for watching and have a good one, you guys. Grease Monkey out.